Ooh. I'm a work so uh, we also are gang doing that stuff and play games all day. Fuck, oh, sure that's better. Yes, yeah, yeah, slightly. It might be fun. got lots of guys let's go oh you messed up my attack on your friend what oh I fuck god damn I forgot about my stun meter Whoa. death I was like ah we're going ham we're going ham we're not going ham I'm replanting the uh, mist guard as well. Oh, nice. Okay. Doesn't matter what I game. I'll remove it. <laughs> it's fun knowing which games. I pretty much just put <laughs> all the the Jotun puffs back in. Sorry. The Jotun puff or whatever they're called. Uh, yeah, yeah. I put all of them back in pretty much to replant. Oh, nice. Okay. There we go. There just weren't as many as the mage caps. No, I don't care for. I just like it per game. It's just it's an interesting uh, stat. I like knowing when it's all games. It's just like eh, eh. I know, so I should just make it like, I'll make one for every game or something. I'll do that eventually. I'll, I'll, I'll add it to the list. cookable items. Wait, what? Oh, I can I just eat these raw? Huh? Maladida? Thirty year old knitted, you'll be impressed. All right, where are you? Oh, there we go. Jelly. I have played some I love some I planted the flax and barley lately? Yeah. Uh -huh. I'm only doing, well flax I don't really see what else we can use it for. We have so much, I made so much linen already. So I've been just doing all my barley. Okay. I have like 300 ready if we need to switch over for uh, farming. Yeah, I would say that is probably one of the greatest crafting sur crafting survival games I've ever played. I've never beaten it though. I'm like, both times I get really close to the end. I played on stream too, and I got pretty much right to the end too. But then I forgot what game took over. And then in my first playthrough Hi. before I started streaming, um, my Hi. Save file got corrupted, so I can never finish it. I'm like, and I'm like right at the end. Like, I'm pretty sure it's like I have five minutes left. It might even crash on like the ending cutscene. I, 
I don't even know. Uh, oh, watch the Miss Bomb you want to yeah. check out? You can see, definitely. Sorry? Oh, ping the Miss Bomb you want to check out? Oh, uh... I think it's just called Mist. Oh, that's the one we're going to? Yeah. Oh. Okay, never mind. I thought we were going somewhere north. That is one of my favorite clips, though. It's so perfect. I don't know if that's a full clip though, there's like a... There was like a two minute one that someone like captured the whole thing, but I, don't, I think that one got lost. I think I have it saved somewhere on my computer. It was so close. I almost got it in the, uh, I almost got into the, uh, docking station. Fuck, man, I, I laughed about that all day at work. Like, my boss probably thought I just, like, I ate a stupid pill or something. I was cracking up. I was so sh I was like, I just remember being able to, uh, oh, I just remember being able to change color, and it's just like, oh, I just need to park it in here. I didn't even think about how big it is. needs to be oh definitely needs to be cooked there you are Should be two more of you I think in there are almost broken. What kind of jelly bean would you like, Div? And no soft tissue still. Shh, spicy. Alright, one sec here. Make sure I'm somewhere safe. so many in here. That's how I died last time. And there's so many over here. Uh oh, it's a dead end, I'm pretty sure. Yup, this is gonna be awkward. Kill, 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 kill. Oh boy. 
Oh boy. Good. We got lots of jelly. I can make good food now from mage abilities. I think we'll be safe here. All right. We'll habanero, but we don't have habanero. Fuck. <laughs> Carolina Reaper. All right. Wish me luck. Jump. Cake walk. <laughs> yeah. Is this tomatoes? Oh, oh! I'll throw one more in because one of those was sriracha. <laughs> oh, that's so gross. at the beach all day yesterday I got a sunburn. <laughs> Let me breathe for a second here tight it cups. the Tyson die. It is like a stupid. <laughs> it's uh like I just walked in the circle around one pillar and I'm at a dead end. Did you <laughs> I've lost. <sighs> Ooh, that's a... Uh, that's a... Uh, a little warm on the tongue. Global boiling, I think it's confirmed. Go down here. There we go. My mind is coming back. I really should do a hot wings thing. Oh, oh that would be good. Hot wings stream. Oh, hmm. You guys get to ask me questions, so I have to answer them. I don't know how hot I'll go, because like I said, my only concern is how bad my hiccups get, depending on how spicy it is. I'm just doing like collecting wood, replanting wood, and replanting the farms for now. So I need to work my way up. All right, all right. Ooh, and I to missed the core when we what my up. tolerance is. Because it can get really bad. It can be like, duh, duh, duh. <laughs> <laughs> Anyone know a paramedic? But when I'm 130 and I finally add all those stuff to my stream, like I said I would, 
that will be my last stream, and we'll go as hot as we can go. That's how I go out. That's how I'll be remembered. <sighs> All right, started to calm down. All right, got lots of royal jelly. I'm pretty much ready to go whenever it's that new area. All right. Cook. Oh, actually, here, I'm cook. you can cook us some more food. You got bread. I'll make some lox pies. Uh, yeah, if you cook up some food, it'll uh, give me time to replant the forest before we go. So probably want to do that before we start venturing, give it time to grow, you know? Yeah, yeah. Okay, we have a lot of seeker meat. Uh, I'm just going to cook up a bunch of this. Nothing else in my inventory that's going to cook? No. You don't have any cookable items? What do you mean? Oh, you can only cook... Oh! I might need to expand the... Uh... Might have to delete these and put these on instead. Okay, uh, mandibles. Ooh. Oh, what is this? Tick trophy? I should... Oh. Oh, he hates the ticks. Is his house done? Fuck, when he builds his house, when he's finished his house, I'm gonna make trophies all around the inside of his house and put ticks. If it was snakes, it would be better, because he, he's scared of snakes, but ticks will have to do. I'm such a good friend. <laughs> there we Stop go. In the water, no. <laughs> you are such a dick butt. Uh, okay. How do we make locks pies? So who's my friend? Uh, his name's. Uh, oh hey, more we come away. Um, I was a supervisor in retail, and uh, we hired him on, and I was the in-store trainer as well. So, um, I occasionally do like interviews, but I didn't interview him. So I treat interviews and training. Um. Like one, when it comes to like interviews, I just, to me, I don't want to pe see people in a suit and a tie. I want to see people wear what they normally wear. And I want get to get to know them. So if I don't do the interview, I, in the training, I um, usually ask more personal questions, like what are your hobbies? Um, oh no, I didn't mean to do that, but oh well. Um, that kind of stuff, so when we sat down, it's just like, He's like, here for training. He was a little bit nervous. And I was like, first job. And I was like, uh. I forgot what I said. I think. I just. I think. I don't know. I think I knew he was a gamer. Or someone said that he liked playing. So my first question to him was like. Xbox or PlayStation or something. Just to see what he would say. And he's like, PC. And then kind of like laughed. And you could tell it like immediately calmed down. Uh, or like relaxed. And then so we just kind of like. Shit. Uh, just started talking, and we liked the exact same games. We had the same opinions on a lot of stuff. And then we started training, and we did all the training. He was very competent. Uh, barely needed any training. And, um, yeah, and then um, just throughout the years, we just became closer and closer friends. Um, he asked me, like, you know, personal things about whether or not to like move up in the company and all that kind of stuff, so. Um, yeah, and then, uh, we are like, we are oddly, we oddly like this exact same things when it comes to like, games. And then we also play 
differently. So he's usually like the YOLO frontline tank that's probably usually naked and doesn't have all his armor. And I'm usually the one that likes to think things through roughly. I like to like test the waters, but when it comes to like an actual thing, I'll like plan it out. Um, so then we kind of like, he pushes me to do stuff that I normally wouldn't do. And I feel like it's actually like rubbed off because there's a lot of games where now I definitely do a lot more YOLO stuff because of him. And then um, I sometimes like hold him back a little bit to be like, okay, <laughs> this is the final box and we only have a stick and an onion. I don't think we can win. But, uh, yeah, no, it's been a really good, good friendship. And, like, I can kind of play forever. Like, I can sit down and play for pretty much 20 hours, and I won't get bored. And he's very much the same, same way. Like, there's a lot of friends that are very similar to me in the games I like, but they can only go for, like, two, three hours. Achieve a balance, yeah. Good balance. Oh, well, there's more fine wood up here. I'll chop this down for sure. Oh, nice. All right. It's funny though, like, so far he hasn't done it, but uh, he also has like this crazy, like, when we play like Don't Starve Together or certain games where we need to like harvest. Like if in some games we'll be like, oh, we need trees. He'll go boom, boom, boom. And then like, you know, and two hours will go by, you won't hear a word from him, and you walk outside, and, like, the world will be bare. He's somehow managed to wipe out the entire tree population. This game he doesn't do as much, because he likes the exploring, but... Yeah, it's... He definitely goes into the... Uh... <laughs> he goes ham sometimes. What the hell, there's a random surger out here? Yeah, I think they start they start spawning now. Uh out in the wild. That's cool. It's so hard to meet people who you mesh with in game. Yeah, exactly. And um Yeah, no, it's it's been really good. And it was kinda nice too because um like in retail I met so many of my friends, like my current friends, like we have such a close group. But at the same time, there's like some people where it's like, we won't talk for like maybe a year or two, but it's almost like time is frozen when we do see each other. It's like as if nothing's, it's like as if we talked to each other like a day ago. But working in retail eventually, I kept staying in the company where everyone kind of moved on and did other things. So, um, it kind of sucked because it's like, you don't see your friends every day anymore, and then, like, he was one of the few people that, like, stayed stayed behind. Not because of me or anything, just life choices. Um, I'm gonna have to start killing some locks again. Uh, Oh, uncooked stuffed shroom. That's what we were making before. Seeker meat. Ooh, that's actually pretty. It's pretty easy. Um, two seeker meat, two mage caps. Oh, okay. So seeker meat is actually pretty damn important to me. I think one of my favorite things with him is uh, him and I had to go to first aid training. What a bad idea to send us together. Oh my god. We we listen, but we find the same things amusing. So, and then we... So, you know when you're your close friends where you just, like, feed off each other when you're laughing? Fuck. Some of the stuff that happened in our first aid training, just the idiots that were in our class. 
fuck. We just, we would just like laugh forever in this cycle. And it's just like you'd be sitting there after you get like yelled at. And then just, <clears throat> and then just both people, both of us just lose it. But then the problem then is like I've been told I, I kind of have a contagious laugh. So then sometimes I would, when I get my giggle mode, fucking half the class is now laughing. I love when that happens, knowing my friends since fourth grade, and we talk every couple of years. Like, we hang out daily. I wit, um, yeah, I have a couple. I don't have anyone from that long ago that I still hang out with on a regular basis. I really wish I did, but it's super expensive in uh, Vancouver. And so a lot of people chose to move where it's cheaper. So they're not like far away, like maybe like an hour drive or um, or just like, yeah, awkward depending on traffic. So we still see each other like on camping trips, but I wish I saw someone like more often. And like, I, I would say like crafting survival games, you're doing a lot of tree chopping, a lot of like repetition. I don't mind doing it. I love doing that kind of stuff. But then also I know a lot of my friends want more like non-stop action or just not the same actions over and over again like how many games like to the oops, how many games could you play where you just oh, you're just chopping trees like i've probably chopped like 10 million trees in games now and it i could i could do another 10 million more it's good if i get knocked down i get knocked up or i get up again uh let me get a name hello let me get a name How's it going, uh, name? You don't have any real life friends anymore, really? Doesn't matter. Um, online, you got, you got online. Hmm. But how's it going? Let me get a name. Hey, friends of friends, in real or not? Yeah, exactly. Uh, maybe we'll all get some drinks when Kaz is signing autographs at TwitchCon. Fuck, I really wish I could go this year. I mean, it might have to be next year. It sucks. It sucks so much. I was so excited to go. It's like, I have a, there's like a 5% chance I can go this year. And I won't know until like pretty last minute. Just get a dog and have a best friend. Yeah. Oh, I was so excited about going this year. And the shitty thing is, I would be able to get, uh, there's like a very high chance I'd get uh, a free stay when I'd go there. All I have to do is pay for the flight. All right, I'm just grabbing food and I'm good to go. Uh... Yeah, I'm stopping shopping trees, I'll stop. I'll, I won't replant it, fuck it. That, and then I do want stamina though, but I do. It's gonna be mainly health. How much, um, Eider do I have? I need 20. We have no more soft tissue, do we? That's all I got, right? Uh, no, I think I used it all. Unless oh. you brought some back this session. We have some. I used it all for the at Ager. Yeah, yeah. I have one kind of. Oh, God. Yeah, but Knitted's kind of like. Oh, God. Gotta keep an eye on Knitted. Got me playing this game actually again. Nice. Good game. Uh, okay, I'm gonna come drop this off. I gotta do a quick run back to pick up the rest of it because I just don't have space. No, that should be good to go. Okay. 
Okay, it looks like this is working a lot better. Uh, yeah, been having some fun with a friend, just don't have a lot of time tonight, but that's life, I guess. Yeah, yeah. No, it's tough. That's why, I, like, I definitely get into, like, uh... Like, I, mean, I still game a lot, but <laughs> it's never enough. So I hope one day if I find a, a gamer, a gamer girl. Or someone who's very, very okay with me gaming a lot. Scalps cows? No. I'm running out of hair as it is, Tempu. Let me have it a little bit longer. Uh, I'm lucky to get an hour per day when I work. Oh, really? Yeah, I'm kind of... Yeah. So I was like... I could get two jobs. Or I can just... Go hard in my current job and then do this as like a side hobby. Um, wait, I have 15. Wait, I have 12, so I need one more. And we can get two different spells. Work, gym, making food, eating, not much time left. I will have to force my girlfriend to cook a lot when she moves in. Yeah, yeah. That's the thing. It's like uh, I'm starting. I'm, you know, I'm starting to work out again. Fuck, it just is so time consuming. It's so time consuming. Get a remote job and stream yourself working. Yeah, there we go. It's funny actually that you say that because um, my current company has some on, uh, home jobs. And that's actually in the contract that you cannot do. Like, most companies, you'd get shit for doing it anyways. But that's, like, legitimately, like, in the contract. Yeah, it's crazy. Like, you're at the gym for, let's say, two hours. But going there, going home, showering takes two hours or more. Plus, like, the amount you have to eat because of going to the gym. I usually limit to 45 minutes. I find two. I used to do like two hour stuff, but I find it's kind of like diminishing return returns. We have so much regular wood. I might be able to finish the construction on the portal thing. Oh damn! Fire one twenty six. And my house. Mm, I think you just go for an hour. Yeah. And that's if I'm focused. Legs and back are both. Yeah, last run. Last yeah, run. right. If I add legs in, um, then yeah, I can step and see. I that. underestimated how much wood I had cut down. <laughs> Approaching the hour and a half. That's why you, I think the rule is just skip leg day. Saves you tons of time. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, you don't need, you don't, you barely, I don't use my legs, like, I use these two fingers. I actually use all my fingers. Uh, cost 800, parry bonus movement. Ooh, which one am I going to use? Um... I'll try this. Or staff of protection. For a minute. But use up 40% of my health. Blocks are 48. Hmm. I feel like that might be the best. Blood caught. Yeah. As much as I want damage.
But we don't have enough wood. Okay, I gotta go get wood. Um, it's rough to start, but with a good plan, you can avoid overworking the same muscles. I walk, bike, ride, run. Should be enough. I walk, I lifting, heavy stuff. Pretty much do leg days, five days a week. Thinking about it. Are you getting ready to kill a boss? No, we still don't. We still haven't located the new the. Miss boss, we don't even know what it is yet, so we're pretty excited to see what that is. Um, Cause I went, we've gone into this game without knowing anything prior. Um, so we're still trying to locate it and like upgrade our gear. How many calories do you consume a day? I have no idea. A lot though. I'm like one of the heaviest. I'm a very heavy eater. That's why I definitely need to work a lot, uh, work out a lot, cause I just eat way too much. And with the heat, it just fucking skyrockets. But I'm definitely gaining weight, so I'm, or I have gained weight, so definitely need to uh, get back into the grind. maybe not doing anything at the moment just maintaining for summer oh uh. we'll go this way no oh, we ran out of it is a drill in woods and just go clear up that or it ran out of what uh, the Zidral wood. You said residual wood? Is Isidral or whatever. I can't remember how you pronounce it. What biome? The. It's wood? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, there's more Eider coming in. Or eater. Wait, what? Isn't it what? The itch of cell? Like the it, tree? The it, god tree or whatever the fuck it is? Isidral? Isidral? What are you saying? I'm not even gonna try. Yeah, I'm gonna Google it in a second. Okay, I'll put all of ours in the, the new eater in the tin coffer chest. Um, very big, not a monster, but yeah, oh shit, I was not paying attention. That poor, uh, can't you just hold? You can, but I've, I don't know why, I'm just in the habit of always clicking. I do that in most games. I never hold. I right. hope secret meat's really good. Yeah, I, we had a bunch extra. Wait, uh, do I not have enough to block him? I don't. Okay, so... Red. Yes. I need that extra block. Because having the uh, less food, I definitely can't. Whoop. Still can't block okay. him. Okay, I am ready to go. That was lucky. Did you kill them all? Is 
It's so tough with the uh, double daggers because I'm on such. I'm like. On the very edge of being able to block or not. So, like, when I'm full on food, I can block, but it's only for a bit. And then. I, After that, you lose uh, it. Yeah, because, like, your block is based on your armor and how much food you have or how much health. Isn't there a stat on the weapon too? Yeah, like so. Yeah, you take your block. Yeah, you take your block score. It's like multiply your block score by health, by armor, or something. So you just need to upgrade your weapon, basically. Uh, yeah, it's fully upgraded. Oh, it is. Yeah. But since I don't have like high armor, I like you. I don't have that. There's two of them. I only saw one. So if I have my shield up, block force is 60. Or is it block armor? Uh, block force, I believe. Okay. So 60 plus my armor plus whatever food I have? It, it, no, it's like a multiplier of like... Okay. So 60 plus 97 plus so whatever food. Okay. So for example, like I can't block like a level one seeker if I don't have like two hundred and eight health or something like that. Jeez. Okay, we'll just get out of here. Alright. Not a lot of anatomy. I'm probably ready to go anytime with it. Sad, I have a clear under core I work out with insane genetics, tiny bit short, but he's massive and he just started to juice. I remember I uh, worked with a guy who got a juice. Man, it's so fast. How, like, it's crazy how fast. Yeah, 15, he was about 15, 16 years old. It's crazy how fast he grew. He got huge. And then he tore his skin in his back because his back was growing too fast. And, like, broke out. Like, just red scabs everywhere on his back. Like, I don't know how much he was taking. But it was pretty nasty. In his shirt, he looked great, but then. I remember seeing him at the beach, and I was like, that is crazy. It's interesting because my, uh, my dad, he grew up in a small town. So he used to like have his idols, like you know Arnold Schwarzenegger, all these people, and they'd have them on the front cover, and he'd just see how big they're getting. And, but no one ever mentioned steroids. He had no idea what it was growing up in a small town. He just see these people huge, so he just figured he needed to work out more, and eat more protein powder because that's what they were selling, protein powder. So it got to the point where he even ate protein powder without liquids just to be able to keep eating it. So everything he had, he'd sprinkle protein powder on it. He'd take spoonfuls of protein powder, put it in his mouth, and drink water. Just non-stop protein powder. Because he had no idea. He just wanted to get big. This is in like the early 20s. And so he had so much protein powder that he started feeling sick. So no worries, needed take care. And um, got rushed to the hospital and when they took an x-ray of him and he drank the liquid and whatever to like highlight everything um they said that he had so much concentrated protein in the stomach uh it burnt a hole through his stomach but your stomach's one of the fastest healing uh organs in your body so by the time they even took the x-ray it already closed and um it had already closed but you could see the scar from the x-ray and so then he found out, like, yeah, you can't have that much protein powder. So when he came to Vancouver, um, he found out about roids and had no idea anything about them. I was like, oh, sweet, okay. He saw so many people, like, taking them, and he's like, oh, shit, okay. So he started taking roids, very, like, for a very short period of time until he found out, like, wait, these are bad for me. But he just talked about how, like, insanely powerful you feel.
like you you can work out for three hours and feel nothing you can wake up the next day and feel you just feel like you you didn't even work out like your body's already healed it's like so much power you can lift more feel good yeah He's like he's like, he's super thankful he didn't do it for very long and was able to find out more about it. Some people overtrain, yeah. Full terror. Oh, your you bicep. Or should I keep planting? Um, I'm coming back right now. Uh, there's more eater uh, in that machine too. I took four already, but I don't know if there might be enough for you to upgrade something. I just keep putting it in the. Uh, far left chest. Okay. Oh fuck. Um, one of my one of our customers, he was a bodybuilder, super friendly guy, super chill. He had one of those like great laughs. We used to talk all the time, just absolutely jacked. And then he came in one day, and it looked like there was a, uh, looked like there was like a worm in his arm. I was like, shit, dude, what, what is that? He's like, my bicep snapped while I was lifting. It was a full snap. Nine left. So he like just retached it, but it was all... I'll just put it in this original chest. And we just you can see later. it in his arm. Yeah, I don't get why people use roids if they're not competing, though. I get a cycle. It's just, I think it's just looking good. And um, we were talking about this a bit later, uh, yesterday. No, a lot of people are not forthcoming in the fact that they are doing roids, or at least some kind of like um, booster, I guess you'd say. You know, you got actors, like good for a guy, you're looking at this. Um, you're looking at, like, a, you know, a guy sees, you know, all these actors come out and they're fucking jacked. And, you know, girls are going ham over them. You got, you know, gym memberships advertising these guys that are, like, perfect shape. And, you know, this is, like, the quick way to get there. And they're probably doing this. And there's, like, a high chance of doing it themselves. Yeah, it makes no sense you're not going to compete, yeah. But I could also see, like, getting on them, too, if it's, like, like how my dad said, like, the amount, how powerful you feel. I could see that being an addic addicting thing to be a part of. And then you go almost, I could see you almost getting, like, psychologically getting hooked, because now if you go off it, you're going to get smaller all of a sudden. So it's like, oh, what's happening to, what's happening to Jim? used to be so jacked. I don't remember who, but some big actors started to sell workouts, claiming... Oh, probably a few. Staff of protection, okay, so we got 16 of that and four blood clots we need. Almost down here. The guy playing Roar oh Crim's Chris Hemworth Hemsworth? Yeah, there's no way he's not on something. I actually didn't know he was doing that. Yeah, it's, it's especially in the, the latest Thor movie, which was garbage. But, uh, yeah, it's like, okay, buddy. Okay, buddy. You look great, but that is not natural. Oh, you weren't kidding. There's a lot of 
I didn't get a chance to replay it, but. Yeah, they really try and sell the whole eight small meals, killing us also gym. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think it's worked out. I remember reading when he beefed up the first time, he was talking about how, I think he talked about like strawberries. Like once he started incorporating berries, he's like, if you watch the movie, you can see his like neck growing in size. <laughs> Or something like that. It was something ridiculous. It might have not been him saying it. It might have been a magazine selling his routine. Or something. I was like, yeah, okay. And then I remember... <laughs> I actually knew someone that... Oddly around that time, he started eating a lot of strawberries. And just berries in general. Berries and smoothies. Berries. I don't think that guy got off the toilet. Yeah, yeah, there you go. It's not even you working out. You can probably stop working out. Berries will keep you going. Alright, you ready? Yeah. How many good uh, crossbow bolts are you bringing? Uh, 89. Okay. I got, wait, you, you said legitimately have 89? Yeah. That's so fucked. I got 89. Oh, yeah. Let's do it. It's like all the super fruits. Yeah, super fruits. Just... Reset. Yeah. <laughs> super fruits. Uh, take away from our. I forgot the other term is. Blueberries are better for X reason and a few months later, blueberries are health concern and then kiwi's yeah, a new good. super fruit. Yeah, constantly changing. I've only heard of one. I can't remember the name of it. That's. Um, people consider as a true super fruit, but not for working out, but for like keeping you awake. Can't remember what it's called. I think Dave Chappelle uses it. Amongst like other things. And uh, a lot of writers use it for like staying focused for a really long time. It has nothing to do with like health. It's just for like staying awake. I forgot what it's called. But it's like I think it's somewhat rare. I don't think it's someone like normal, like normal people can purchase. Yeah, no, it's not coffee. It's something else. It's like red little tiny. They almost look like uh, huckleberries, if I remember. Yeah, coffee beans, just pure coffee beans. Superfruits you can only find in the rainforest along with indigenous crabs eat them every day. You good? Yeah. Let's do this. That like our skill check, you know, just, just jump around the fire pit real quick. Yeah. Oh, yeah, we're Man, the yeah, I remember uh, Dave Chappelle and like uh, I think Joe Rogan were talking about it. So Joe Rogan had never heard of it, and so when you go on the bus, he's like, the amount of things that some of these high-end uh, performers do to keep themselves going. We've explored it's this like... one, though, right? Oh, yeah, what the hell? This one's called Mist. Wait, do we have two Mists now? Like the lower and uppercase? But I think even some do, um... Like, what do you call it? Blood diffusion or whatever? When they, they drain your blood and, and um, fill it up with oxygen. They do it for, like, uh, Navy SEAL stuff, too. Problem is, we have too many portal. <laughs> yeah, what the what just went. Oh, it's down here. It's down here. Oh, fuck. Okay. Well, I just walked in one to check one, so it's shit. It's on the bottom, bottom left. What's it called? Mist, as well, but lowercase m. Oh, 
Yeah, you have Ash Thunder, whatever it's called. Yeah, that's, there's a few things like that. Some are detoxing, yeah. So he's, like, talking about how, yeah, they take this, like, drink that has whatever berry. They do the oxygen replenishment. Oh, and he's, like, it's crazy how many days you can go on, like, next to no sleep. But you're definitely on borrowed time because at the end of it, you sleep for, like, three days. Oh, oh that does there, that to yeah. you too? Oh shit. Oh shit, what is this? Last a minute, it gives you extra block force. That's pretty sick. Yeah, no thanks, yeah. Damn. That's so cool, though. Yeah, actually, like, really neat. You just need to get inland, and then I'm gonna probably dismantle this portal because this is such a shitty spot. Yeah. Does Ohe stream? No, he doesn't. I'll try to convince him, but it's really he's. Like he wants to, it just his schedule's very hard to balance because he doesn't know what he works every day. So he would not have a schedule. Some days he'd be on at like midnight to like 4 a.m. Some days he'll be on like 8 a.m. to 12. No, it doesn't. Surprisingly. Yeah, that sucks, yeah. But there's a main reason why. It's not as bad now for him, but it's still a bit rough. Killing hairs is a little easier now, huh? <laughs> yeah, I don't have to fucking chase them with daggers that are a foot long. And 2k or whatever called though. And I get if I see with my did not expect that, oh shit. It's weird though, I didn't do much different, but last year my PC overheated a lot more and I how to constantly monitor it. This year, even though it's hotter outside, With not the having planes. the same problems. I don't know if they've, like, shit's been optimized more. Like, updates. I'm not very good with computers, so... Most of the time when I'm talking about computers, I'm talking out of my ass, but... I think there's a uh, mud, those like tar things over there. Talking about, oh fuck man, yeah. Like the skinniest missiles. The amount of talking my ass I did in my old job, god damn. <laughs> Especially for meetings. Uh, Tyson, can you sit in on the meeting? They're gonna ask us about that new stuff that they implemented. Um, just tell them it works really well. Uh, but it doesn't work at all. Yeah, yeah, but just tell them how it's working well. But it doesn't. Okay. 
Uh, Tyson, uh, can you give us your opinions on the new things that we implemented? Oh, we're seeing sales skyrocket. Um, just, you know, everyone's happy. Customers, customer feedback is amazing. It really, you know, honestly, it's just, it's the greatest thing ever. No, I was usually the one. <laughs> I was very quickly not allowed to do those missions. Uh, I could. I was very quickly was not allowed to do those because I was actually pretty brutally honest, and it sometimes get me in trouble. But I don't. Know, it used to irritate me. That, it used to irritate me this sh uh, so much with. Um, it's like why so many things stay. Well, actually, I don't know. I feel like there's there's so many people that have egos that even if everyone told you that was wrong, they'd be like, we're keeping it. It'll work eventually. Uh, you look at all the politicians, case in point. Damn, I can never lie like that. Damn yeah. it. I know the game, but I don't play it. In that way. I think when I was younger, maybe a little bit, but as I get older, like, even my interviews, like, when I interviewed for my current job, it was, like, I showed up with a resume that took me, like, two minutes to make. It's the worst thing yeah, I've ever seen, and I'm embarrassed that I even wrote it. I would have probably been better off showing up with nothing. I should probably put on my armor. Oh, you have to be, like, right next to me, okay. Damn, this is cool. I did not expect this to be this cool. Can't wait to see all the spells. This is him talking to you. If one shit they paid me to lie enough to know there, I have no problem sleeping. Yeah, I wrote that I had education for a job I worked for worked with before. Oh yeah. I remember walking in. I was kind of nervous. And I was like, wait a minute. Screw this. So I sat in. I gave him my resume. And I told him flat out. I'm like, honestly, I could write a good resume. But anyone can lie on this, so I believe more in like personal conversation to kind of like gauge someone. And he liked it, and then I got hired. I'm sure, like, if it was like a high end, crazy ass job, that would be a little bit different, but. Not sure if you have personal letters. Some people write about their entire life. Oh, Fuck, thing over I here. know. Write about their entire life, or their parents get involved. That used to happen a lot too. Uh, where are you going? I'm coming upstairs with you guys. No, this looks like a pretty epic one. We're interviewing your son. Yeah, but you know, there's some things he might he might leave out. Yeah, you you can stay downstairs. Oh, I forgot to put it one on the other side. Um, oh, there was a blank one. I'm trying to remember its name. I think it's Yeg Sleuth. Nope. It worked. Oh, because I literally looked at it. Like 20 minutes ago. Maybe we 
spelled you could it just wrong. make it you could just make it replace one of them right uh but then what will oh, wait pick? i think i did it right no way wait 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 oh it is <laughs> it's the x loose spelled wrong <laughs> nice. <laughs> I'm gonna come through and drop off too. I don't know. I looked at it. I'm like, this doesn't look right. I forgot. That's so funny. Or maybe it's right. Maybe that's spelled right. Maybe that's right. And I was thinking wrong. That's sick. Is it Yagsluth or Yagluth? Oh, it's, it's spelled right. Okay. I spelled it wrong the first time, that's even more embarrassing. Oh. I went to the mech, uh, let me just graduate, put, reached Eagle Scout on his resume and asked why he's not getting calls. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was pretty good. Yeah, there's definitely some of the things. We also, when people spell their own name wrong, that's my favorite. The one thing you need to look at. Or no contact information for resumes. That's also a good one. No email, no number. We have a guy who spelled his name wrong and it's still on all the papers, that's perfect. Oh, we can get rested, debuff, or buff again. Yeah, we had it at our place, and then we also had uh, a guy that worked for us, who... He actually went to work for a competitor, but didn't want to tell us. And it was actually, it would be, uh, whatever you call, I forgot what you call that. Oh, fuck, I forgot what you call that. Um, conflicting interests? So, but he still put us as a reference. I think he didn't think they'd actually call because he gave a bunch but of references. Sense. And um, so they called us and they're like, hey, is, uh, I don't like to say, Jooms? Is Jooms there? No, there's no Jooms working here. Okay, uh, Jooms, uh, Balin? No, we got a James, James Balin. And then they're like, oh my god, this guy spelled his own name wrong. That's just an example. His name, it was actually way worse than that. Like, he had a weird name, and it was hilariously spelled wrong. Mega's paused? Alright, alright. Spell his name, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Oh, uh, fucking priceless. Uh, yeah, same Arabic guy with a hot name. For us, anyway, yeah. I know someone who can spell.